when you're getting close to retirement, you don't want to make any big mistakes with your savings. And of course, you want to make sure you're set up for a comfortable life. That's right. Ray Martin of CBS Money Watch is here to help you protect your nest egg from any blunders and make the most out of your retirement. Ray, good to see you this good morning. Good to see you both this morning. So we're taking a look at some, uh, basically sort of some do's and don'ts. And you say one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they don't run the numbers. They essentially don't know what they will actually need. Yeah, half of workers are still guessing on how much they'll need for retirement and almost half have no saving strategy whatsoever. The average amount of retirement income folks need is about 60,000 a year. That means at retirement they'll need about a million and a half dollars saved. You need to have a saving strategy each year on how much you'll need to get there. Obviously the longer time you have, you can plan and make it happen uh, for yourself. But you've got to have a strategy. You've got to have a plan. It's like taking a trip and having no idea where you're going to end up. So use that calculator. Yeah, There's right. also those people out there that say, I'm not going to retire. I'm just going to continue to work. That's I love to work. Not, <laughs> not, not the best strategy either, right? You know, you'll continue to earn an income and drive, uh, forego drawing down your retirement savings. But two in five workers have to retire earlier than they planned because of illness, caregiving at home, or losing a job. So not planning to work is not a strategy. You have to pick a date and plan for it, even if you might work longer. Uh, another problem especially yeah. nowadays a lot of people may have been out of work for a long time right. and they may have some retirement savings say in a 401k mm. no income coming in do not raid that 401k though right don't borrow from yourself don't cash out your retirement savings one in ten take loans over 30 percent of younger workers cash out their retirement savings yeah. when they leave their job because it's a small balance but that compounding effect on that at retirement is huge don't borrow from yourself don't cash out your retirement savings ever and the taxes will of course hit you as well so you yeah, yeah especially if you cash what out what about right? the people that do say to themselves Oh, okay, I'm contributing such and such percent. I want to bring that. I want to scale that way back down. You know, a lot of employers match your contributions to your 401k plan. 40% of workers don't contribute enough to get their employer's match, which is usually on the first 6% of contributions. That's free money you're foregoing. And again, a significant amount of retirement savings down the road. So always contribute at least 6% in your 401k at all times to get that employer match. And for people who are married, yeah. there are also spousal Social Security benefits that you may want to take into account. That's right. Well, with Social Security, you really need to understand the nuances here. But here's the rule. The longer you wait to take Social Security, the bigger the annual benefit. At 62, you could get $18,000 a year. If you wait just five years, you could get $28,000 a year. If you wait to delay that check until age 70, you could get $35,000 a year wow. from Social Security. So the longer you wait, you can get a 7% increase in annual benefits. So think about that in your retirement planning as well and understand those Social Security benefits. How do you calm people down who are nearing retirement right now with the volatility mm. in the marketplace, with people seeing their 401ks dip at a very at a key time in their lives, let's say people that are five, six years away from retirement, or even sooner than that. We were just talking about that, Chris, uh, back in the production before the segment, and folks that are saying, look, I've worked decades, and now this is how it's going to end when I'm in my 60s. It's a difficult thing, but you have to adjust yourself now to the situation that we're in today. I don't think these difficult times are going to go away in the next year or two. It's going to be a, a stretch of a road here for at least five to ten years. So adjust your situation now to where things are now, and if we see incremental improvements, then at least you've adjusted for that and things will get better for yourself. But that's the best you can do. Is it a smart move, though, if you're a couple of years away from retirement to maybe get with a good financial planner if you don't have one already to re kind of repurpose everything and maybe regroup where you have your money? It's never been more important than now because times are so uncertain and so many people are in in, in a situation they've never seen themselves in before in decades of work and, and retirement savings and market volatility, see a professional or two and get a second opinion to figure this out with yourself because I, I think that'll help the most. That's a great, great recommendation. Great. All right, Ray, thank you. Good You're very you. welcome.